Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to lay your sewing patterns onto the bias screen of your fashion fabric. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The problem that you have when you're working with your sewing patterns that need to be cut on the bias is space. Hence the reason I'm working on my living room floor. You need to make sure that your fashion fabric is the full width and is a single layer, therefore not on the fold. I'm going to show you in a moment how to lay your pattern pieces onto the bias of your fabric. The first thing to do is to identify the straight grain in your fabric, which I've indicated with these markers. It runs the lengthwise grain of your fabric. When working with sewing patterns that need to be cut on the bias, they'll either come in a full pattern, as you can see here, or a half pattern, which I'll show you in a moment. Regardless of what pattern piece you're working with, it will have a 45 degree straight grain line, which is the bias grain. Here we have a half pattern with the grain line on the sewing pattern at a 45 degree angle. And with a half pattern, you need to cut your pattern out twice. Make sure that when you cut it out for the second time, that you are turning your sewing pattern piece over and aligning the grain line to the grain line in your fabric. I'm now going to lay my sewing pattern piece along the grain line. So we've got the grain line, bias grain line in the sewing pattern and the straight of grain line in the fabric and now I'm going to turn my sewing pattern to align it to the straight of grain in my fabric. Now my sewing pattern will be cut out on the bias. Now I'm working with the half piece of a pattern and here's the 45 degree bias grain line. And I'm making sure I'm cutting out the first one with the printed side of the fabric facing me. So I'm going to line that up with the straight of grain line in my fabric. That's the first piece. I can either trace around it and cut it out. And the second piece, I'm going to flip my sewing pattern over. And again, it will be making sure that I line my grain line, bias grain line, to the straight grain line in my fabric and the sewing pattern is on the wrong side. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. You just have to be aware that when you're working with sewing patterns that need to be cut on the bias, that you're working with a single layer of fabric, therefore you need space. If you have any comments or queries, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll see you in my next video.